Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So guys, I thought it would be a great opportunity to show you my recipe for some delicious roasted veggies. Now, before you guys go ahead and click off this video and say, ew, veggies, listen, trust the Rex. I have converted four people over from despising broccoli and asparagus to absolutely loving broccoli and asparagus. So I want you guys to just stick around for a couple of minutes and uh, maybe try this recipe. I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised and I think you guys are going to really love it. So with that being said, you guys are going to need some fresh broccoli and asparagus. You're going to need some butter, salt and pepper, olive oil. I have about six large uh, cloves of garlic that I've minced in my little uh, garlic press and then some Parmigiano Reggiano and then a fresh lemon. And that's it guys, that's all you guys need, okay? We're gonna be baking this at 425 degrees. So I have a large baking sheet over here because I'm gonna uh, put them on the same pan and then I just have some parchment paper here. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick how to prep your broccoli and your asparagus. Now these have already been rinsed really, really well. So I'm gonna start my asparagus first. All you're gonna do is just cut the ends off, okay? Now I'm gonna try to make them all the same size so I'm not losing too much of the asparagus. And what I do is I leave the rubber band on there. It keeps them, you know, together and intact. Just helps them out a little bit. And then kind of just, you know, push down on them. And then, perfect. And then just cut the very ends, okay? And they'll fling and fly all over just like mine always do. And that's it, okay? I'm just gonna put these here for a second, clean this up. And then I'll show you the broccoli. Okay, so for the broccoli, all you're gonna do is, now these are just broccoli florets, okay? And we're gonna take the stem off. So we're gonna cut the stem, discard that. And then what I do is I just cut off like this. This one's a little still long, so we can cut that again. Discard that. And yes, I made my shot, in case you guys were wondering. All right. And they should just kind of like fall apart. Now you guys can make them however big you guys want them, okay? You could cut them really close, like this, and not have, you know, too much stem. Or you could leave, um, you know, a little bit of stem on. I like pretty much all the stems off. And then the larger ones, I just go ahead and cut them. And that's it for the broccoli. And I'm gonna go ahead and, so I'm not boring you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting all these little broccolis and then I'll bring you guys back and show you the next step. Okay guys, so all my broccoli's done and of course the asparagus. So go ahead and preheat your oven at this point once your uh, veggies are nice and prepped. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees and let that get nice and hot, okay? So we're going to Put on your sheet. And it doesn't have to be perfect yet because we're gonna be, um, you know, tossing this around in the seasonings and whatnot. And then I can lay them flat, okay? So just uh, kind of separate it. Now I love all veggies, okay? Absolutely love vegetables. And these two actually happen to be my favorites. So that's why I wanted to show you guys. And broccoli and asparagus, you know, they got a bad rep. They don't get uh, the love that they deserve, I think. So I really think you guys are gonna love these. Like I said, give them a try. So just kinda put them on your sheet like that. Perfect. Okay, hopefully you guys can see everything. So we're gonna start off with some olive oil. And you're gonna just pour some olive oil all over the veggies. Probably a couple of tablespoons. Perfect. We're gonna do some black pepper and salt. 
Now I have pink Himalayan salt. You guys can use kosher. You guys can use sea salt. You know, you guys can use whichever salts your heart desires. I like pink Himalayan. I think it's better for you. All right, we're going to put our lick. And like I said, we're going to be tossing this, so don't worry about it being perfect. And it's going to mix in when it's cooked and get all delicious over all these little guys anyways. Perfect. You're going to move them all around coating everything nicely. So go ahead and, uh, you know, toss your veggies around and just try to make them as even and flat, um, you know, not on top of each other as you guys can. It looks looks about right. Beautiful. Looks good enough. Then you're going to go ahead and take another little drizzle of olive oil. Littler than uh, the first time. We're going to do some more black pepper. Make sure everything is even now with the uh, seasonings. A little more salt. Beautiful. Then you're gonna take some of this butter. Butter makes everything better. And it doesn't have to be perfect, because like I said, it's gonna melt and get all over everything. So just, you know, put some dollops here, there. However much you guys want. That should be good enough. We don't need too much because we got the olive oil. Okay, then you guys are going to take your lemon. And you're going to just drizzle it all over the veggies. Now, what I like to do is I like to save half of it, okay? And then when they come out, I like to do another little drizzle on the asparagus, if you guys want. If not, uh, you guys can skip that step if you don't like it, you know, too lemony. And, uh, you know, just use the half. And then you guys are going to do your Parmigiano Reggiano, which is what really sets it over the top. And again, however much you guys want, okay? You like a little cheese, do a little cheese. You like a lot of cheese, do a lot of cheese. You guys are the bosses of your cheeses. Now, of course, you know your girl's Italian, so I love me some cheese. So, and I tell you what, it already smells amazing, guys. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you. And what's nice is hopefully the broccoli gets a nice little char to it. It's absolutely amazing, guys. It's like a little crispiness, a little crispy goodness. Okay, and that is it, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'll go ahead and check it at 15 minutes. And uh, I will bring you guys back, show you what it looks like, taste it, of course, and uh, tell you exactly how long it cooked. So with that, we will be back, guys. So it's been 17 minutes, and look at these veggies. Guys, I cannot tell you how good it smells in my house. It smells garlicky and lemony and absolutely delicious. I can even smell the Parmigiano Reggiano, so you know that's going to be good. So see the little char that it kind of gave the edges of the broccoli? So good, guys. So good. All right, so I have my half of lemon. And this is all I do uh, once it comes out. 
And like I said, you guys don't have to do this, um, but I like it. It gives a little extra lemon. And just very little, just drizzle some fresh lemon on the asparagus. Just a little. Gives it a little bit of extra freshness. I'm going to go ahead and put it in a little fancy plate so I can take my fancy pictures. I'll bring you guys back and uh, we'll try it. So, All right, guys, so I took my fancy pictures and I cannot wait any longer. I'm going to try a piece of the broccoli for you guys and then I'm going to try some asparagus, which is my favorite. And you see, you can see all the little uh, cheese crisps. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm excited. All right, so I'm going to get this bad boy. Nice and charred. Alright guys. Cheers. Mmm mmm mmm. This is so good guys. For all you guys that don't like your veggies. You guys gotta try this. I'm telling ya. Is that good? Okay. Now for the asparagus. Let me take. Oop. Cheers again. Mmm. -hmm -hmm. Those are so good. Mm -mm -mm. Please try this recipe. I promise you guys you will not be disappointed. So quick, so easy, and so good, guys. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.